Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. You know, Deontay Wilder has made an announcement that him and Tyson Fury will rematch in early 2020. And I just want to be honest and unbiased about it and say that that's an absolute 100% publicity stunt and a duck of Anthony Joshua the same way that Tyson Fury is still ducking Anthony Joshua the same way that Deontay Wilder is ducking Anthony Joshua. These guys have come together and put on this publicity stunt and you heard it right this is a publicity stunt these guys don't like anything outside of what they do and you know this is an absolute publicity stunt these guys don't have a date or venue these guys have no date no venue and that's what Deontay Wilder used as an excuse not to fight Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury says Dillian White is a bum and he does not want to fight him but at the same time, Dillian White is literally better than every single body on his resume, with the exception of Vladimir Klitschko. And you're fighting a guy not even ranked in the top 10. What are you talking about? And, you know, Tyson Fury, who knows if this fight will even happen? How many fights have Tyson Fury said he would fight and pulled out? He said he would fight Anthony Joshua, then walked away. And, you know, walked away from negotiations, demanding more than 50 percent at a time and demanding 50 50 at another time. Uh, Tyson Fury said he would fight Dillian White. Then he backtracked that. Tyson Fury said he would fight Deontay Wilder next. Then he walked that back. Tyson Fury said that he would fight Vladimir Klitschko again. Then he walked that back. So if you notice that Tyson Fury continues to walk back the biggest fights and, you know, I have no doubt that he may fight Deontay Wilder early 2020 or it may be mid or late 2020 but he will fight Deontay Wilder at the end of the day you know that Tyson Fury is looking to prolong everything because that's who he is he's all talk he doesn't want to fight the best he doesn't want to fight the best competition he's he cherry-picked Deontay Wilder the way Deontay Wilder cherry-picked him you have to think about it Tyson Fury has been on the couch for all this time and he comes back, fights two bums, and then fights Deontay Wilder because he knows that Deontay Wilder has zero boxing skills. And he knows as long as he can't land that right hand, he's got it. He's going to completely outbox him throughout the entire fight, which is what he did. He got robbed, unfortunately, but he completely outboxed Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder knows that he can't outbox Tyson Fury, but he's looking for that one shot. So that's what these guys are. They're cherry picking each other and avoiding the best in Anthony Joshua and Dillian White. And it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, the only good thing is if these guys do fight, one of these idiots have to lose. Because at the end of the day, that these guys proved that they could have made the Anthony Joshua fight. They could have made that fight. They chose not to make that fight by announcing a fight with no date, no venue. And this is how you know it's a publicity stunt. Because, you know, not only did Deontay Wilder announce this fight, uh, you know, on Anthony Joshua's fight week to try to take steam away from it. He announced the Luis Ortiz fight uh, the same week. So you announced two fights the same week of Anthony Joshua's fight with Andrew Ruiz trying to take steam out of Anthony Joshua, trying to make Anthony Joshua look bad. But it only makes him look even more like a certified ducker. It only makes him even more look like a guy that's only doing things for publicity. Anybody that still believes that Deontay Wilder you know wants to fight the best is a complete idiot and a fanboy because only a fanboy would believe this nonsense Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are doing nothing but putting on a publicity stunts and let me break you down the actual facts as to why this is a a publicity stunt so Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury say that they want to fight you know and and this is uncommon that these guys would have Tyson Fury is fighting uh, Schwartz on June 15th. Um, then Wilder's fighting Luis Ortiz, uh, the rematch in September. Uh, and then Tyson Fury is fighting another opponent in September. So you have at least three fights in front of you before you rematch Tyson Fury. So you're going to, you know, you're going to announce uh, a fight with no date and no venue with three fights standing in between you two fighting. And you're not ducking. And this is not a publicity stunt. That's what I'm saying. These guys are not being honest and unbiased. These guys are frauds. They're they're clowns at the end of the day that they're trying to fool people with this nonsense. And you're fooling no one. At the end of the day, we know that you're ducking. And we know that the fact that, you know, supposedly that Heyman and Aram, who supposedly can't work together, shows that they can work together, shows that they can work together if they want to. And it's all in the PBC. They could have made the Anthony Joshua fight. They don't want to make the Anthony Joshua fight. They don't want to give you the best fight. But that's funny. At the, at the end of the day, if this fight does happen, you have three fights in between. This is an absolute 100% publicity stunts. And these two guys do not want to fight the best. 
They want to bum bash. They want to fight retreads. They do not want to fight the best. They don't want to fight for the biggest amount of money. They don't. They want to keep, uh, you know, keep going with this duck duck goose game that they're playing. They do not want to fight the best competition. These guys are duckers and it's certified at this point but once again unbiased as always it's the ibfp please share like and you must absolutely subscribe